Hi, I'm Kelly Barrett. And I'm Jared Spector. And, and this, this is, is the story, story of our, our first date. date. We met doing a show together, a showmance, if you will. And then I walked in the first day of rehearsal and there she was and I just died. I really, I just completely fell in love almost instantly. Meanwhile, I just thought he was a really, um, a really nice guy with an amazing voice and I was in a relationship so he was funny and sardonic and lovely to star opposite but I wasn't, I wasn't in that headspace at all. But right. yeah, so that, that's how we met. Right, so I was in my own little romantic comedy and <laughs> Kelly was just friends with somebody. Right. Okay, yeah. so this is, this is a tricky one because we were friends and we were foodies so we went out on dates all the time as friends. Right, Meanwhile, as friends. Meanwhile, he's laying the groundwork. I mean, it was an easy way to start because uh, a friend of ours who was a writer had a play. Mm -hmm. like, oh, well we have this mutual fund, should, we should go see this play together. Right. And you can't go to a play without eating dinner first. And <laughs> that was our first date, That I was guess. our first date, yeah. And then we just kept going to, I remember- okay, Dinner and a show, it was a nice first date. It was, it yeah, was very nice. It was great. I didn't know it was a date right. until way later, it but- It wasn't really a date, no. it was a get to know you again. I showed up in like gym clothes and he's got like a suit on. That is not true, she it's was well dressed. I'll never forget, I was in Astoria, I lived in Queens at the time and I was folding laundry and we were talking on the phone. And I don't know, I said something and then he goes, you know you're the Sally to my Harry, right? And I like looked up and the phone like slowly bounced on the bed and I had that like aha moment. So we're going on all of these little platonic dates. Half of me is like, okay, this is great. I'd rather have this friend who I, who I genuinely loved as a human being. You know, uh, I'd rather have that friendship than have nothing. But being in love with one of your closest friends is, you know, is like a day to day and then moment to moment torture and eventually it became a little too much and that sort of, it all was coming to a head because we were going up to Vassar to the, uh, what's it called? The um, uh, New York Stage and the Film. The New York Stage and Film Powerhouse Program for three weeks to do that reading again. I think it was like the first night there. It's the first night. With the help of some, with some assistance from <laughs> friends who sort of um, managed to get us into the same uh, dorm bedroom, and then um, with friends who had been plotting against me our entire friendship for right. about four years. No, again, with with, for, with him, know, with me, for, me, for it's on our behalf, on our mutual. Yeah, behalf. they had been making it all happen for years. Right, as they should have been. And then I sort of professed my my feelings. It took hours of conversation. Then we talked it out for like three hours. We made sure it was. Morally okay. Right, so you have to cover the academic side of things yeah. before, you know, you can actually just follow through on your feelings. Right. Harry right. met Sally. So we talked it out for a few hours and yep. then we kissed and mm -hmm. the rest is history. Yep. And inappropriate. 